All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about a common error that happens with NumPy and how to get past it. All right, so you might have some problems with the Pygame module. You might get an error saying that module Pygame doesn't have a member in it or it doesn't have a member and it isn't supposed to give you an error. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So there isn't any problem with what you name the Python file or you not installing it properly. It has to do with the fact that VS Code takes your code literally. And since you can't import pygame.init or pygame.quit or pygame.quit, since you can't import those, it thinks that it isn't a correct module. So in order for us to fix this, this is what we have to do. And I actually had the same problem. So I did this in order to fix it. So control shift P and over here, type preferences and you see open settings.json. So open settings and you click this one, open settings JSON. So you click this one. And this opens up right here. So it's a JSON file. So this is what you want to type right here. That is what you want to add. So, and this is how you would go about adding it. I'm just going to add it again, but I'm going to end up deleting it because that's going to cause some problems for me. But I'm going to walk you through it. So first, you put in some quotes and then you do python dot linting dot pi lint args and then outside that you do a colon then you press enter and you have this and you want to and you want to indent this and now in here do some more quotes and do dash dash extension extension slash pkg slash whitelist equals pi game and outside of this just put in a comma so that is what you want and so basically what this section of code is doing is and it whitelists pi game so over here whenever you're importing something or you have something like this vs code sees it and it goes like Hold on a second. Let me check this first. And let's see if it has whitelisted any packages. And you see, boom, right here, Pygame is here. So it just installs it without any problem. So I'm going to delete this now so it doesn't jack up my code. But yeah, that's all you have to do. And then just click File, Save, and try running this again. And it's going to work unless you have some other problems. Well, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.